here's a cube, and we want to investigate commutators on the cube. So by commutators, I mean doing x, y, undo x, undo y. Now obviously that did absolutely nothing, but in general it doesn't. So for example, x, y, undo x, undo y. And now we see that the cube is messed up quite a bit. But certain commutators have very simple actions. So here is a good one. We will make our x will just be moving the right like this. And our y will be a series of three moves like this. Now the reason we've chosen this is although this y is fairly complicated, it does something very simple to the right-hand side of the cube, which is x. Right? All it does to the right-hand side of the cube is replaces one corner. So let's go back and do the commutator, x, y, x inverse, y inverse. So here's x, here's y, here's x inverse, and here is y inverse. Nope. Okay, so now what have we done to the cube? Almost nothing except that three corners have been rotated. We've created a three cycle. And this is completely general. Anytime you have a commutator where x and y share one piece, which is called the center, anytime you have a commutator with a center that's one piece, you will create a three cycle. And so in order to see why, let's abstract this cube a little bit. It's hard to keep track of all the pieces, so we'll go over to this simpler representation. We will represent x by saying, here are all the individual places on the cube, these boxes. And the arrows show what happens to the pieces as you do the moves x and y. So x is going around like this, x inverse is going backwards, y is going around like this, and y inverse is going backwards. So most pieces do nothing. Or if you take this frog, for example, here's x and y does nothing to it, x inverse sends it back, and y inverse does nothing to it. So he just starts and ends at the same place. So most pieces don't get messed up, which is what we observed. But there are three pieces that do, and that's these guys right here. The center and the pieces that get moved into the center. Right? He gets moved into the center, he gets moved into the center. So if we just carry it through x, y, x inverse, y inverse, x takes these two, shifts them down so the dragon goes into the center, like this. And then y will shift the whale up into the center, like this. And then we need to do x backwards, so that will shift the monkey back to the center. And then finally, we need to do y backwards, that will shift the dragon down to the center. Okay. So we started with this order, dragon, monkey, whale. And we actually have the same order at the end, dragon, monkey, whale. But the entire thing has been rotated by one cycle. Right? So commutators in general, because this diagram can re represent any sort of commutator with a center of one piece, create a three cycle. Let's go back to the cube and see that in action. So let's create a commutator to rotate three edge pieces. This blue and red one, this blue and yellow one, and this yellow and green one. So our x will be moving the top. And that's a four cycle. Our y will be a very simple two cycle where we send this down, do this twice, and come back up. And since it's a two cycle, it's actually its own uh, inverse. The reason that this is a good move is that the center here is this position on the top. And you see that the only piece that overlaps is the center, right? The rest of the top is completely undisturbed. So let's go back and then see the entire commutator in action. x, y, x inverse, y inverse. And there we go. We have a three cycle. Nothing else done to the entire cube. That's the basic idea. As one little bonus, let's see how to use commutators. Instead of creating a three cycle, we will flip two pieces around. So here's how we'll do that. We'll take this, flip this uh, red and blue sticker as well as flipping this yellow and blue sticker. So we'll take as one of our moves, x will still just be this. We'll actually we'll make that y. x will take to be fairly complicated thing. But ultimately what it did is it left the top alone and just flipped this piece upside down. So now we can do y and then undo x, and undo y.